What's up guys? Um, so today I'm gonna be doing some skew walkthrough solves. So I average around four to five seconds um, using intermediate, advanced, and a couple NS cases. Um, and I'm just doing some walkthrough solves so I can um, possibly help people who are trying to get faster to improve, like sub n, sub 10, sub 8, um, and just, yeah. And the scrambles will be in the description. So for this, there doesn't seem to be anything good. There are no um, corners that match up with any center. So I, uh, I think I, this is bad. This actually really stinks. Um, like the scramble is horrible. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do yellow. So what I'm gonna do is insert this piece in the back and do this. And I know after I do this, I'm gonna have this case. And um, I have pi plus u perm. Um, so I know it's gonna be there to there since I just twist the corners. Um, okay, this is actually really good. So what I do, um, like, okay, so if I move this down here, this green corner will be right here. So the layer is just three moves, which is R prime and then like it's sort of an R prime rotate and then um, R prime and then little R prime. So like that. And um, I have this um, pretty easy, actually it's not exactly easy, but I know this center case um, and it goes like this. Okay, so um, this scramble, once again, isn't great, but we're going to have to work with it. Um, shoot. All right, so I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to solve this. Um, and Okay, so I'm going to move this here. And then I'm going to move this in place, and I know this is still going to be here. So I'm just doing that, and then that. And um, this isn't a great case, but what I'm going to do so I don't get a Z-perm is um, if I do double hedge, I know this center is going to go here. Um, so it's going to be a U-perm. All right, so this is a two move layer, so I'm gonna try to sort of one look at. Um, I know that it's gonna be pi. Um, it's gonna be a pi case. This center is gonna go here, so it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be this. Yeah, um, I thought it would probably be something like this. So I believe I can do a sledge. Um, so I was trying to set it up, but I did that wrong. So I have this case, so I can just do pure pie instead, which isn't as good. Um, once again, two moves, um, but it's not the same as last time. Um, it is still going to be pie. But um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pi plus u perm. So that, and uh, like I said, it's going to be pi plus u perm. And since it's on the side, I'm going to do a sledge from here. Um, and then I have a two sledge case. In this case, two hedge. All right, so 
this is a one move layer, so that's kind of dumb. But if I one look it, I know that it's going to be an almost sledge case where uh, these two centers are switched, these two centers are switched, and these two are the same. Um, if I do that one move, so I do that, and like I said, it's going to be this case, so I just do this. Pretty easy. Uh... Alright, so... For this case, um... Or for this scramble, sorry. Um... This isn't great, but it's not bad. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve these two. I'm going to like sort of orient this one in place. And by the time I'm done, this um, will be here. Or no, here. Um, like I said, it would be here. And then I would just orient this in place. And from this, uh, it doesn't look like... I can do much with this, so what I'm going to do is a hedge, and then I can do a sledge from here, and I know it's going to be a U-perm starting here, and it's going to go this way. Alright, so... Uh, hmm. Okay, so I think I'm going to do orange. So I know I can solve this piece by doing that. And um, I can solve these two pieces. Sort of like the last case, Um, I can twist this in place. And by the end of it, this orange corner, the orange side is going to be here. So that. And then... I'm pretty sure I can do this. Uh, it solved the centers and it just gave me pure pi. So I thought it could have solved it, but it didn't, but it at least gave me pure pi. All right, so this um, isn't great, but I can solve this piece like that. And the way I like to do it from here is just do that and then just insert it with three moves. So I have this case um, and I'm pretty sure I do sledge. No. Um, sledge. And then I have this case. I just insert it like that. So it's kind of different. So you hold it like this to where it's on the top and so, I, so it's facing you, sledge, and then you just insert this piece like that. Some people know that, but some people don't. Um, okay, this is pretty much like the last one. Um, but instead of doing it like I did last time, I do this. I usually do this for the lefty case, but it's even better since I can preserve this center. So I would move that here, and then do that. And it looks like I have, um, yeah, I can just do pi, and then I'm going to have a U-perm that goes to here, since it just twists the corners. Um... Okay, so I have this block on red, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, and the other, do, other two pieces are here, here, and here. So what I do is probably solve these two by moving that out, inserting that, and then moving that back in. And I can do this, and I know it's going to preserve this corner, or this center. Um... So I have this, it's in the front, so I'm going to do a hedge, okay, apparently I was wrong, um, so I'll just do this and accept my mistake. So um, I'm going to do a sledge from here and I 
No, I'm going to have a three sledge case. So this center is going here. Um, so I know I'm going to have a three sledge case where these two are switched and these two are switched. And then the last scramble. Um, okay, so this is four moves. So that's pretty good. Um, how I'm going to finger trick this is move this over. And then actually, um, I'd probably do it like this. And I have this um, peanut plus Z perm, which I do like this. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope this was helpful, um, and yeah.